Hey guys, um, I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot your Amazon Fire Stick remote because apparently once in a while this actually will lose a uh, connection with your uh, Fire Stick and apparently it will not be able to respond at all. Uh, and so, well first of all, make sure that you actually have fresh batteries. And the thing is with this remote, uh, it takes two AAA batteries and what happens is sometimes when these um, batteries get below 1.4 volts it's uh, it doesn't work too well if you know how to work um, one of these multimeters it'd be great to check the voltage uh, but anyhow if you have any doubt just put in a fresh batch of batteries um, and you should be good to go um, and but nonetheless you know if your remote does not work at all um, then Apparently you have no way to go to the settings and such uh, and actually pair it. So what you want to do is that if you have uh, an Android smartphone and such and uh, I know I personally have one here uh, on on me and so what you want to do is that there is an app for the Fire Stick uh, remote and what you want to do is go to the Google Play Store and what you want to do is type in um, Fire TV and you see here it says Amazon Fire TV remote app what you would do is uh, click on that and install it okay and click accept and well the thing is you have to actually be on the same network um, your phone and the Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV uh, has to be on the same uh, Wi-Fi network, and so, or else, you know, if you have, if you actually have your smartphone on your cell phone data, it will actually will not work. It has to be in the same uh, Wi-Fi network. And what you want to do with that now is fire it up, and you see here it has. Uh, actually my fire stick is actually detected and what you would do is click on that and as you can see on my screen it actually has a pop-up and it actually says the uh, the connection request and in this case it's 7434 um, as you can see here there's four boxes which correspond to those four digits um, your number will actually be different it just you know it's just randomly the way it pairs the uh, your remote and what you want to put in is the um, you know your designated not this number but your designated number that actually is on the screen and so and as you can see here it's actually paired up now and it's actually corresponding to what I'm putting that what I'm actually have up here and so see and with that is actually uh, paired up now with your uh, remote the thing I like about this Amazon uh, app here for the remote for the remote for the fire TV or fire stick is that you can actually type something on here with numbers as opposed to just a toggle switch um, you know this toggle switch which you have to use a keyboard uh, on the uh, display of your TV um, that's what I like about it and so okay so now you are able to uh, have access and navigate through the menus so what you want to do now to pair your remote is go to settings um, as you can see here um, and then Amazon Fire TV remotes and as you can see this is the one that is controlling it now, the uh, actual app in itself, um, the Amazon Fire TV remote app. Um, but since you need to pair your remote, you would press this. In this case, I actually have it paired already, but um, nonetheless, uh, when you're having problems with your remote and you have your fresh batteries with you, what you want to do is, um, you know, you would add, go to add new remote, and then what you want to do uh, what it says here that 
you need to press the home button for 10 seconds on the remote that you want to pair. Um, so what you want to do is actually press this for about 10 seconds. Um, what I find uh, works better is if you are actually close, this is actually the uh, actual fire stick in itself. If I actually uh, put it in the vicinity or close to it while pressing the home button uh, at the same time um, and do it for 10 seconds, it, it actually pairs up much faster. Sometimes it takes a little longer, I don't know for some reason or, or not, uh, but in this case um, it actually does pair much faster. Um, like what I said, I've had uh, quite a few troubles with this remote and that's what I had to do and you know it always pairs up and so and now you have two remotes one from your smartphone and one uh, for your actual remote itself and so if you like this uh, video feel free to click like and subscribe thanks a lot and see you next time